Obstacle avoidance is very common today in many commercial zones, right? But I don't have much money to buy them. So I decided to make it at home. And I have already a drone which I build with various types of flight controllers. As I am having various types of flight controllers, so I have to make this system compatible for all the flight controllers. So let's get started. Since the only way to access the movement of the drone is the receiver inputs, so we have to access this way, receiver to the flight controller. Then we will be able to move the drone in our desired direction if any obstacle is detected. To measure the distance, I am using 6 ultrasonic sensors and of course an Arduino to process the data together. To get 360 degree obstacle data, I have placed the sonar sensors all over the drone but the main problem is ES interference and it affects very much the frequency of the sonar sensor. Before making it, I have tested placing the sonar under the ESCs and look at the result. Well, it's reading wrong distance because of the ESC radiation. So I have to place the sonar sensor far from the ESCs, usually what we do with the external compass. Surely it will not affect the compass because the sensor uses sound waves but for processing some magnetic field is created but they are not so much strong to affect the compass. Ok, let's see the schematics again. Here three channels are essential to move the drone, roll, pitch and the throttle. So we are reading PWM values from these channels of the receiver and using the Arduino to forward the data to the flight controller. If there is no obstacle then the Arduino will forward the read PWM values to the flight controller. Suppose it detects obstacle from the front side then what it will do? It will only stop forwarding the pitch channel from the receiver and instead of that work the Arduino will send custom PWM values to move the drone backward. And when it's normal again, the Arduino will start forwarding the values, making the drone manual controllable. Putting the conditional statements for all axes, we can make the drone automatic avoidable from one side. For the whole system to be worked together at a time, we have to write the codes without delay function. For DIY projects, we use this ultrasonic sensor with the delay function, but here I'm not gonna use the delay. Because delay frees the main loop, so while the mention time of the delay, we can't be able to sense receiver pulse or write PWM signal to the flight controller. Well, in this case I am using new ping library to measure the distance with the ultrasonic sensor and fortunately it doesn't use the delay function. While wiring up the whole system, I got sorts of wires, so I put trigger and echo pin together for each sensor, thus I use three wires for each sensor. And to read the PWM values from the receiver, I will use interrupt function because it's a lot more easier process and also it doesn't include the delay method. Now upload the codes to the Arduino and the system is ready to use. All wiring and codes are in the description, you can download it for free. So now time to test it. If you are trying this for the first time then I will definitely recommend to wear a helmet. And open area like this. So let's take off. I was pretty much happy with the indoor testing result but on the field I crashed several times, even sometime it doesn't take off. Looking closely to the codes, I got the fault. When the drone is placed near an obstacle or on the ground, the download sensor tells the Arduino hey there is an obstacle under the drone. And also the Arduino writes custom PWM values disabling the throttle channel so the drone gets wrong input and often crashes. And sometimes the Arduino makes the throttle channel to high PWM values but to arm the drone it pulls the throttle down right so it's completely different and the drone doesn't arm. To solve the problem I change some codes when the throttle will be always forwarded to the flight controller if the throttle is under 50% even there is an obstacle or not. Also I added a button to enable slash disable the obstacle avoidance system. For that I chose the channel 6 of the receiver and connected it to the Arduino analog pin to read the PWM values. Also I changed the channel 6 knob to the switch by soldering the wires. To make it look premium I add a new pixel RGB LED to navigate the drone at night. Also it will be green when there is no obstacle, red if obstacle is detected from any side and white for obstacle avoidance is disabled. And now it's really completed and I think I'll not crash it again.
still there is some limitations like it only works on flat surfaces, trees and solid things are ok for this but it cannot detect narrow things. Since we are using an ultrasonic sensor, it only can detect approximately 10 to 15 degrees. So obstacle from the diagonal position, it can't detect. But for now, it's working quite good. In future, I'll make this system with cameras and offensively so that we can get whole 360 degree obstacle data. If you are familiar with the Raspberry Pi, then you might know what OpenCV is. And also if you are interested in the visual obstacle system, then leave a comment. I will make a dedicated video on that. Till then, bye bye.